Good day, mates, and welcome to my website. Um, this is a website I have built and kept up for several years now. Um, it's one of many that I've done along the way. I ran a blog for a while uh, and many various things like that. Um, when I switched schools, I ended up losing a lot of my old website, which is why I decided to start it up on the UEN, so that no matter where I go, as long as it's here in Utah, um, I've got I've got my web page that goes along with me, and I just have to make minor changes. Um, you can see in the top left corner there, you have my contact information. It shows the website my.uen.org/290097. Um, this is the home page. It just kind of gives you a short bio about myself, tells you a little bit about me, has my calendar, some bookmarks, and then uh, shows you that it's Scholar Academy that I work for. Um, the next two tabs here aren't very relevant at the moment because it's summer and I'm not in school anymore. But these are where I keep my weeks updated to let parents know what's going on in the classroom. You can see here's what we're doing. Reading, writing, spelling, math, science, social studies, etc. Um, I usually keep two weeks up there so that I can have the current week and then load the, the next week onto it as I get it planned. Um, I do keep a copy of my disclosure statement on here, uh, which this will probably have to change uh, as we go because I'm moving to fourth grade next year and things will look a little bit different for fourth grade than they have for sixth. Um, my supply list, I do have a copy of the yearly calendar for the school. Um, and then you'll see that as we move on from there, there's just several, like we've got some math resources. And these are things that I have created along the way for sixth grade math. So let's, yeah, I mean, I originally it started out as a, as a something for the parents because the parents would come to me and say hey I don't know how to help my kid with some of my homework um, this gave me you know a website to refer them to pretty much every lesson I've taught throughout the year has a has a link so let's say substitution here you would click on that and it shows you oh, well this is what we mean when we're talking substitution um, and it's got it for pretty much everything uh, the math videos link are videos that I have made with my students that teach various topics. Um, depending on what's going on, I mean, you can see that there's clear back to 2011. We did one, uh, 2015, 2016, and then, of course, this year, 2017-18. Um, I, I just kind of keep those in order, but it allows the kids to see what we've done other years. Um, and it allows them, you know, they feel famous because they're on, they're on the interwebs. Uh, with, with permission from parents, of course, uh, any kid that's not supposed to be pictured is not. Um, science resources. Uh, these are just a few of the videos that I've shown in my science class when teaching different things. Uh, again, all of these have come from YouTube and they're just linked here to, to go. Um, and then from there, it kind of branches off in a couple of different directions. The Mesopotamia playlist is a uh, an kind of a, a, a web quest um, that, you know, takes the kids using the technology through the assignment rather than just, you know, here's some reading and here's a, here's a worksheet to fill out. Um, so we've got a web quest. And then these next two are things that the students have created that we then shared as a class. And I linked it here on the site, A, to put them all into one spot so that when it came to sharing them, um, it was easy for us to pull up. But it also allows the parents at home to kind of see some of what's going on. So here they created uh, PowerPoints based around the, the countries that they had researched. Um, I didn't think about that expecting me to sign in, but I was just going to give you an example. So it, that, and then they ask questions and there's answers to their questions. I don't know, it was just a fun little activity we did. Um, the Novio presentations I had them create. Uh, same kind of thing, and I don't know that these are still going to be live because Novio only keeps them online for so long. But 
Uh, if you've never used Novio, I highly recommend it. Let's see. Maybe. Anyway, it's a good technological tool. You do have to teach the kids how to make it, but then it basically does something similar to what we're doing here with Screencast-O-Matic, where you know they've got their PowerPoint or whatever they're creating here, and then a clip of them off to the side explaining it as they go through it. Um, back to here, I've got a link to some different uh, digital citizenship things that I go through when I teach my students. Um, and then the last two things are actually things that I've created for this technology endorsement as I'm working on it. One of them was a, the portfolio we created for uh, 5010 um, that has all of the parts on that. And then uh, a page that were I to have done it differently, I, every year I've created a, they had the students create a regular poster. Um, but for the class, I, I redesigned the unit so that they created a digital poster um, and in turn made something, they would make something that looks like that rather than a, um, this was my example. And then each of their posters would get linked to the pictures as it goes down, but I haven't actually run this unit with them in this fashion. So um, anyway, that's just kind of a, a quick rundown of, of what my website is, what my website looks like. Um, yeah, uh, peace, love, recycle, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching.